This is literally an out-of-this-world mission. Life South Community Blood Centers has been selected to provide stem cells that are set to be a part of cancer treatment research. A Florida doctor from Mayo Clinic is spearheading the research study aboard the International Space Station. And this month, that spacecraft will launch with some of those preserved cells from Florida's Space Coast. So really, really interesting stuff here. I want to get straight to the experts. Dr. Zubair with Mayo Clinic, as well as Luis Hernandez with Life South. Good morning to you both. Thank you for coming on. I asked you during the commercial break, let's take all this science and this medicine and make it something that, that <laughs> those that are not in the field can understand. What yeah. does this mean for the general public and for our future? Um, it's a great opportunity to um, really study some fundamentals of our own biology in space and also help to bring new treatment for cancer. So uh, this is out of the world thinking. Um, you know, every organ in our body has stem cell and they participate in healing and repair. We use it to treat uh, blood cancers, uh, but they are so limited. We cannot grow them in the lab. Um, and in partnership with Life Cells, uh, we're trying to expand uh, uh, cord blood stem cell uh, in space. We try it on Earth and it is, it's quite a daunting task. So we hope if you take out the, the uh, gravity or the weightlessness, um, we will be able to uh, expand them and grow them for human use on Earth, particularly treating cancer patients. So that's ultimately what the goal is, is to be able to, to make it more efficient and, yeah. and more readily accessible by, by taking out the outside pressures? Yeah, no, it's just to grow them. They, uh, we, there are more people need them. So currently, if you need a transplant, you either donate it to yourself, but if you, you have a blood cancer, your marrow already may have been uh, rid with a lot of cancer cells, so you can't donate for yourself. Now, you need to find somebody to do that for you, but this person has to match you. And uh, in general, that is not an uh, easy task. Mm -hmm. So the best way, if we can grow more stem cell, then you don't, we don't have to chase people to, to donate. Uh, Luis, this is <laughs> probably a mission that you only dreamt about oh, yeah. in, in the past. What goes on behind the scenes and, and how does Life South make this happen? So it, it's just, uh, it's our partners, hospital partners, and we've got three here in Jacksonville, uh, UF Health and Baptist Medical Center South. It's the donors uh, that make this possible. Uh, so being able to, our primary goal is to list as many units on the registry for patients in need now, mm -hmm. but not all the units that are donated meet that criteria. So rather than that going into a biohazard bin, we were able to provide it to Dr. Zubair and his team so that they can help advance medicine. And, and what does it mean? I mean, what, what, what do you think it's gonna mean in the future? I, I, I think uh, it's gonna expand the number of units that will qualify, which means we're gonna be able to help more and more people down the road. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Yeah. Is there anything right now that, that people can do uh, to prepare for this, to try to help out for what is, you know, one of the medicines of the future? Yeah. The key thing is every delivery, there's a cord blood. And this cord blood is, uh, is wasted. So I, I think one way people can contribute to this endeavor is that to be donors for cord blood units. Um, and the, 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 there's a mechanism that they can reach out to Life South or any of the partner's hospital to donate. Um, and I think that's, that's, uh, that's one of the easiest way because it's gonna be wasted. You know, mm -hmm. every delivery that is a cord blood that we can use, it does have this uh, stem cell in it that has a lot of potentials. Certainly, certainly. So using it for a good cause and, and you can do that locally by reaching out to Life South. Yes, and they can, and you can look us up at uh, lifesouth.org. Yeah, really, really interesting. Thank you both. And when is the expected date for takeoff? So, <clears throat> you know, just as you know, uh, lunch. They change. <laughs> yeah, they change. Initially, the thought is we're going to start this month but already that has been moved to next month or maybe July. Okay. Um, so it, there's so few limited options, so we, we are used right. to that. <laughs> we always get on our toes and be ready. To. We know that too on the morning show because we talk about launches <laughs> and then it'll be like T minus five seconds and then <laughs> <laughs>
scrubbed yes. and, and delayed. So, well, good luck to you both. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, we look forward to a follow-up when it does go to space.